back to my channel for those of you who are new here welcome to my channel my name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I did using all drugstore makeup I'm absolutely obsessed with how this look turned out I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna call it just yet but I'm feeling like it's very bronzy goddessy those kind of vibes if you get what I'm saying and I gotta admit that I'm quite amazed myself that I was able to achieve this look with all drugstore products I mean like peep that highlight though like yes before we get onto the tutorial I just want to say if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed so you don't miss a video I post so now that that's all out of the way let's get on to the tutorial alrighty so first things first I'm going to put some brows on because as you can see they are very non-existent at the moment I'm just gonna be using one of my favorites actually this is the Chi Chi brow pomade in medium dark I'm going to set them later on just because when I do go in with like foundation and powder and stuff that does tend to get caught up in the brow hairs so I do prefer to kind of set my brows at the end once all the other things are on my face. So now that I'm feeling more comfortable with my brows on I'm going to go in with the face products. I'm going to start off by priming with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I remember I wanted this for the longest time. Unfortunately we don't sell it here in Australia. I don't know why. So I did have to order this online. I'll leave a link to it down below if you guys are interested. But it honestly feels so nice to apply to the skin. It's like Oh, it just feels so smooth to apply. For foundation, I'm going to be using my beloved Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Plus Concealer in One. I love this stuff and I totally would recommend it to you guys because it's so inexpensive. So I'm just taking a pump to the back of my hand and then I'm going to just use my Dampened Beauty Blender to apply it to my face. Actually, I lied. I'm going to dot it onto my face and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. It's such an easy foundation to work with as well. It's so easy to apply and it blends in and gives an amazing finish. Next up, I'm just going to conceal and highlight my face with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. Honestly, since I bought this stuff, I've been obsessed with it ever since. And I think it's like a hit or miss. Like it's either you love it or you hate it. There's no in between because I have seen other people's opinions on it and they kind of like, they don't prefer it, but I absolutely love it. And for the price, like I feel like it's worth trying. Okay, so concealer is on and now I'm just going to use that same Dampen Beauty Blender again and blend it all in. I'm then just going to quickly set all of that concealer in place with the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. Finishing Powder in Tree Translucent. This is my absolute favorite drugstore translucent powder. Like there is no other drugstore powder that I find is as good as this stuff. For all the other areas of my face, I'm just gonna be using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in Natural. I feel like I could totally go a darker shade in this, but I've had this one for the longest time. I finally hit pan on it, so I'm probably gonna go and pick up a different shade. But this is what I'm using today. Next up, I'm just going to do some contouring with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'll be using this shade right here because that's what I've been loving lately. So that's what I'm going to use to contour my cheekbones, my jaw, and my nose. I've been loving using the Zoeva. I know this isn't a drugstore product, but this brush for contouring my nose has been amazing to me. So this is the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. I know it is technically like an eyeshadow brush, but it works really well for contouring my nose. I'm also just going to take a teensy bit of this yellow banana powder from the palette to apply under my eyes so I can brighten them up a little. I accidentally dipped my brush into one of the contour powders, so let me just use the other side. Alright, so contouring is done. Now we're going to do some bronzing. I recently picked up the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the bronzer. There are two different kinds. I believe there's like the light bronzer and then just the bronzer bronzer. This is the bronzer bronzer. And let me just say, whenever I open this up, 
It reminds me of when you get really sunburned at the beach. So you have to apply this specific cream to kind of calm down your skin. That is exactly what this smells like. It smells very, really, really coconutty. The scent is so strong, but I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna actually use this for the first time, guys. I haven't used this yet. Let's get to bronzing. <gasps> oh my god, you guys. What? I'm obsessed. What the heck? Okay, this is like low-key turning into a first impressions, but for real, this bronzer though. Oh, it's honestly seamless. What the heck? I can't get over this right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shook, you guys. I'm actually shook with how incredible this looks right now. Like, what the heck? I can't. Oh my goodness guys i can't get over it what the heck okay this totally wasn't like i did not intend for this to turn into a first impression but for real this bronzer though is amazing like it gives you that glow without being too like orange and over the top and my brush is shedding oh my goodness getting really crazy up in here all right i think i've done enough bronzing for today that was exciting let me know if you guys have tried this because honestly Physician's formula did the damn thing like this bronzer is amazing. Alrighty, so I'm gonna apply some blush now I'm using the Milani baked blush in luminoso. I love how this blush has that like really Nice peachy tone, but it also has like a sheen to it I'm gonna save all the highlighter in that for later on because the highlighter is pretty exciting if you guys saw my drugstore versus high-end makeup tutorial then you know what I'm talking about but we're gonna move on to the eyes now all right so firstly I'm going to prime using the NYX eyeshadow base in I think this is pretty much just called nude I'm pretty sure because as you guys can see it's like a nude color and I'm just going to apply that onto the eyes with my finger and also blend it out with my finger nothing too crazy over here and then I'm gonna take some of that Astralis translucent powder and just set it in place so that all the shadows that I'm about to use go on nice and smooth. For my actual eyeshadows, I'm going to be using a combination of two palettes today. They are both from Astralis, which is a brand that is readily available for us here in Australia. However, those of you who live overseas, I do know that their website does ship internationally. So I will leave the link for that down below next to the products that I use. So these are the palettes here. We have the Bronze Eyed Girl palettes by Astralis. So this is the matte one, which is all matte, obviously. And then this is the regular one, which is all shimmers. Let me just quickly show you them before we get on to applying them. So this is the matte one. Here is the regular one, which I mean these colors though, like what? For the initial crease shade, I'm just gonna be taking this shadow right here. It's not that different from my actual skin tone, but that's fine because when it comes to transition shades, like the initial transition shade that I lay down, I don't mind if it's only like a shade or two darker, if not the same. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be running that back and forth through both of my creases. Next up, I'm going to be taking this shade from the palette, which is a tad bit darker. I'm running this through my creases again, but not blending it out as far as the first shade so that it's a little more defined. Then I'm going to add a little bit of this middle shade right here. As you can see, it is very warm toned and reddish. So that's going to really make the look look super bronze. That sounded weird. Really make the look look. Yeah, it's going to make it look super bronze. So as you can see, I'm just running it back and forth through the crease yet again. All right, so now that the crease is done, I'm going to be going into the bronze eyed palette, not the matte one, just the normal one. And I'm just going to start off by taking that really deep gold shade right here and applying that onto the inner portion of my lid. Oh, look at that bronze right there, that gold. Next up, I'm just going to take this shade right here. Now this is definitely a bronze shade and I'm going to apply that. I think I'm going to put that on the rest of my lid. We'll just see how it goes. I'm kind of winging this look if you couldn't already tell. So I've decided to kind of put this on the outer two thirds of the lid. I'm keeping the gold on the inner third so it kind of gives that like nice gradient effect. I'm just going back into this shade right here and running that through the crease to blend everything all nicely together. 
And then for the outer corners of my eyes, I'm going to be taking this dark matte brown shadow and just packing that on to deepen up the look a little bit. And of course, don't forget to blend at the edges so it doesn't look too crazy. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lash line. Firstly, just going to take this shade right here and run that along the bottom lash line. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to take this shade and run it along my bottom lash line. These things happen, guys. Like, I start doing one thing and then I change my mind and I decide I want to do another and that's perfectly fine. I just feel like this shade is going to match the lid a little better. So now that that's all looking nice and smoky, I'm gonna take that darker shade and run that along my lash line as well, but keep it closer to my lashes just to make my eye look a little more defined. So now that all of the shadows are done, I'm gonna go in and line my eyes. I'll be using the Savvy by DB Soft Glide Liner. I was gonna go in with a black, but since I'm going for a bronzy look, I thought that perhaps that might look a little bit too harsh. Next up, I'm just going to be doing a winged liner. I'll be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. It's so easy to apply. I just feel like the applicator is really easy to work with. Plus, it does dry matte, which I really do favor at the moment. I wish I was one of those people that could just like sweep their winged liner on, but I've got to work my way there with little streaks, you see, so... I'm still practicing guys. So now that all the eyeshadow and liner is done, I can go in to my lashes. I'll be applying mascara using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispies. You guys always ask me what lashes I wear, especially in my daily vlogs. The answer is always the Ardell Wispies. These are definitely my fave, plus they're super inexpensive. I will leave a link down below to the website that I use to buy these in bulk because you can get them for a really inexpensive price. I'm just gonna quickly apply some lip balm because my lips are looking a little bit chapped. I'm using the Lucas Purple Ointment, which is most definitely a drugstore. So we're going to move on to my favorite part, which is of course highlighting. You guys know that I'm obsessed with getting that glow. So I'm using the Sleek, I don't wanna blind you guys with um, this packaging cause I mean, Mine's looking all grubby with all these fingerprints all over it because I use it pretty much every single day. But yes, this is the Sleek Highlighting Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. I especially love it because it is very gold toned. So I'm going to be taking these two, pretty much mixing them together. The other two are like cream highlighters. So I'm just going to be using the powders today. Just dabbing them together and then watch the glow guys like watch the glow oh yeah see that's like okay if you just want like a subtle highlight but you all know me like i like that intense in your face highlight but it's crazy because these highlighters are so much more intense like i don't know what you did sleek but you did the damn thing because i mean so yes, just pretty much just going to bathe myself in these. Get that nose highlight. I know some people are totally against the nose highlight. Personally, I like it, so I'm going to continue to do it. All that's left to do now are my lips. So I'm going to line them with the Chi Chi Stay All Day Liner in Spite. I always thought this was called Spice, like the MAC lip liner, but it's actually called Spite. So I see what you did there, Chi Chi. I see what you did. Lips are now lined and slightly filled in. So for my actual lip color, I'm going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. This particular lip cream is such a me color. Like if you ever want to know what I would look like as a lip cream, this is the one. This is what it looked like. So yes, I love this shade. I use it all the time, probably too much than I should, but I love the color. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of the Australis Fuller Lips Matte Lip Cream in Paris, just because I feel like this is a little bit like 
duh. So I'm gonna lighten it up with this. I bet you guys thought I was done, but I'm not. I'm going to apply a lip gloss on top. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. You guys, I swear, like whenever I put a lip color on, I'm at least wearing minimum three. I don't know, there's something about it. I gotta apply more than one. And it's so funny because so many people are like, oh, I love that color you have on your lips. What is it? And I have to be like, well, let me just show you what it is because I can't explain it. <laughs> And then, because I'm just so crazy like that, I'm going to be putting... <laughs> Honestly, guys, I do not intend to do this, but I'm going to be putting a little bit of the Rimmel Apocalypse lip, lip lacquer. Lip lacquer in Nude Eclipse on top in the middle. Because you all know how I like to give my lips that bit of dimension. And I can't forget to set my brows, because I did say in the beginning that I was going to set them at the end. I'm just using the Chi Chi Fiber Brow. It's so weird because I always look really angry whenever I set my brows. I don't know why. I just, my facial expression, I just look really mad about something. <laughs> Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed so you don't miss a video I post. As always, I will leave a full list of all the products I used throughout this video down below in the description box where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Snapchat you can find all that good stuff down below. So with all that being said I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy!